but for a broader perspective on this, I'm being joined by Rotimi Ogunesho, a senior advocate of Nigeria. He joins me from our Abuja studios. I want to thank you so much indeed for joining us at this time. Let me start by asking you this thank question. You. Do you thank think you for that me. the APC party failed to consider the legality or otherwise in considering the party's constitution and the Nigerian constitution in this light of developments happening? I think they, they, they did not consider the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the constitution of the party before they took that decision to for tenure elongation. Because if you look at it criti critically, no party exists without the Nigerian constitution. And the Nigerian constitution says you must pursue a demo, uh, the, 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 the issue of democracy. And um, the party constitution, which take it, which took its life, or which takes its life from the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, specifically says that the constitution is supreme. It is that constitution that created offices and also the organs of the party. And that constitution also specifies a tenure. So if the organs of the party, the offices of the party, have been created by a constitution and the tenure has been specified, it's, it's, it goes without saying that they must, cons they must co uh, consider the provisions of the constitution of the party before embarking on that step of saying elongation. Because if you look at the provisions of the APC constitution, there's nothing there which permits tenure elongation. And in any event, once your tenure finishes or expires, you have to go. And what the constitution says is, you must either be, have been elected or appointed for a period of four years. Now the people whose tenure ex, uh, expired in June, after the expiration of four years, on what leg would they be standing on? You don't put something on nothing. So let, let, as let me come in here if, if you the, just the, allow the, me uh, to put in. Some say that this is indeed political considering the condemnation and vote of no confidence by some groups in the North on the president in the build-up to 2019. Do you share that same view? No, I don't get that, point, that question. Yes, I was just asking you that some people have argued that this is indeed political considering the comments and the no vote of confidence by some groups in the North. Do you share this same view? Well, you see, when politicians do their thing, did they have their considerations. But when I, as a lawyer, I would just look at it strictly from the legal point of view. Because at the end of the day, whether, it's, whether you call it a political consideration to reach the decision or a political consideration to reverse it, you must look at the legality. I think what the president has just done is, to, is, is akin, to, in my view, to a man, quote and unquote, when I use the, the word man, I'm using it for the party, who finds himself in a pit, the golden rule, is to stop digging. And what the president has done is taking to stopping the digging, having found the party in a pit, as it were. Obviously, uh, the party so is it's, it's split I along say, some uh, difficult, would, turbulent lines, as our political correspondent, Sheo Kimbaloi, did highlight in that report. But what do you think must be done by the APC in the light of uh, the so many divisions that we see in the party? In your view, what must be done uh, at this time and in this kind of situation by the party? Well, the party will find a way, she will quickly find a way of pulling itself together. Um, talking to aggrieved members, if they could be talked to, and finding a way out of the, the present quagmire. Because the issue of tenure elongation, as far as I'm concerned, is, um, is, is, some, is a way of trying to avoid a problem which was, was there staring it in the face. And um, some people were waiting in the wings to mightily profit from, such, uh, from what I would describe as uh, indiscretion and Ill illegality by the party. Because you never know where this thing will end, particularly in a situation like ours, where politicians throw in anything and everything when they are aggrieved whether rightly or wrongly. So, because as far as I'm concerned, whatever that um, the organ that is existing illegally now, 
does, whether it conducts primaries or it conducts it will, it convention, it will be challenged and most likely it will be challenged successfully. I do appreciate your time for talking to us here on the News at 10. Uh, Mr. Rotimi Ogunesho is the Senior Advocate of Nigeria. Many thanks indeed for your time and your thoughts.